and now I won't stop bleeding. <laughs> the oven's in. Slightly light grey. It's orange. We're getting a curry tonight. Are we having a curry tonight? I just like big versions of stuff. Monday night curry. Um, <laughs> chicken tikka madras. Welcome to this week's vlog. Might be a bit of a windy start. And me and Paisley are just out, having a little walk. I say walk. Are you walking much, Paisley? She's just watching a dog. Come on, let's keep walking, come on, here we go. It's a nice day, a bit chilly, but not raining. Sun's out. I'll tell you one thing, usually, uh, if we're vlogging a dog walk, we'll have Claire with me. One of us will hold the dog, one of us will hold the camera. And as I was trying to get the camera out to start vlogging, I somehow managed to uh, get my finger trapped in the zip of my bum bag. And now I won't stop bleeding. <laughs> Which is a bit annoying. It's like properly bleeding, it's like dripping. Look at that, that is insane. If you're interested, I've got my headphones in. Little wireless headphones. And uh, I'm listening to the Always Sunny podcast, where they, the cast of the Always Sunny in Philadelphia, um, and the creators, they watch an episode and then talk about the making of that episode or anecdotes of things that happened on set and stuff like that. I've been thinking there might be something in that. We only made... I think 18 episodes of the in between us. So I don't know. Me and the boys do a little podcast, talk about each episode and whether we enjoyed it, whether we thought that episode was good or not. I don't know. I thought there might be something in there. Come on, let's go. There she goes. But anyway, how are you? Hope you're good. As always, give this video a little thumbs up now. I would appreciate it. And uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe. Jeez, I've got to start getting fit. I've got to get back on the running machine because just walking nowadays <sighs> knackers me out. All right, that's the uh, walk with Paisley done for the day. Hopefully she'll be all knackered and relaxed. Got to go back home now. I've got to go and check out my PCs, my gaming PCs, because you might not know this, but I stream, I live stream on Twitch playing video games uh, of a weekday morning. And I'm going to be doing my first stream um, the f since I did the play. I was in a play. Uh, so I need to go and check to see if any of those computers and cameras and lights and things still work. And then obviously I'll have to... The, inevitably something won't work anymore just because it hasn't been used for a while. And then I'll have to replace a part or something like that. Anyway, that's what. Uh, I'm going to go home, have a shower, and then I've got to crack on with making sure everything's working. Good morning. I think James has actually already started this vlog. Uh, he's out walking the dog and I stayed here just to tidy up the mayhem from getting the kids out to school. I am going to give you, while he's out, and the um, guys working in the kitchen are late this morning, so I'm going to give you a quick kitchen update. The floor is done. I think it needs to be sealed again, but right now it's done, it's grouted. Also, the oven's in, which I love. It is the coolest oven. Still not had an update on the doors yet as to whether or not they can uh, lighten them to the colour that they were supposed to be. So I'll keep you updated on that when I hear. Let me show you it. As you can see, the grout has been done. I went for, I wanted light as possible but not too light as to where it would just get really mucky and dirty straight away. So it's a very slightly light grey. I love it. 
obviously it's still a little bit dusty and, and stuff, but that is the floor. Let me show you the oven. Oh, love the oven. Okay, here's the oven. Obviously trying to keep it as clean and tidy as possible. But that is the oven, which I love. It's got bits and bobs that need to get put on the bottom, for instance. Um, it's a Lacanche oven. Yeah. Which, you know, be honest, is a little bit pricey. But I wanted, obviously this is hopefully the last oven that I buy for a very long time. Um, and obviously with all the trouble we had with the last one, I just wanted to get one that I knew would <laughs> be really good. Um, also, it's orange. You know, I really like the idea, obviously we've got this statement orange couch in the living room and then I thought it would be cool to sort of carry that through and have a statement orange oven in the kitchen. I love that it looks sort of quite old fashioned as well. I think that sort of goes with the, you know, 60s, 70s style that me and James really like. Double, double oven, so plenty of room inside. Five burner. The one thing I will say though, is obviously this was supposed to be this really bright orange, really standout sort of piece in the kitchen because the units were all supposed to be this very sort of light drained out wood. With the doors being darker than obviously we thought they were gonna be, it doesn't actually pop out as much as I hoped it would. So to be honest, that's another reason why I, you know, I wanna hopefully make these a bit lighter um, so that this has the effect that it was supposed to have. Hold on, let me sit you down because nobody looks good at this angle, right up at their face. Not a one. Well, some people probably do, but I don't. The oven's in, it's not installed, it's not working, uh, but it's there. The floor's done. Again, I think it does need to get sealed again because they sealed it, grouted it, and then they're gonna seal it again. It's looking great. I love it. The, I'll show you, round the doors, I took the skipping boards off because I just wanted something a little bit plainer. So we just made, we're gonna paint them just white. Just made little plain ones. Before we had sort of, sort of that kind of style. Um, which I don't love, you know me, I like it quite plain. Um, so hopefully the next thing is we're going to get the decorator in, come in and start painting everything white. One of the questions I get asked the most on this vlog in the comments and on my Instagram is what colour this room is. Um, and I can't remember the name. I have told some people because I did look it up a while ago. If you want to know, leave a comment and I'll look it up and I'll try and pin the comment or something. Um, but as much as everybody seems to love this colour, and I did, and we've had it for years, um, I'm ready just for white, a bit of calm. Um, and I think white would go really well against the floor and against the hopefully light wood. We're getting a curry tonight because we've not had one in ages. We were supposed to get one over the weekend, but we didn't. It was a really busy weekend. Wait for James to get back, see what he's got planned. And if it's nothing interesting, then I've got a load of dishes in the bath. Waiting to get done. So I'm looking for any excuse not to do them. It's now the afternoon. We're nipping out to look at some bits for the kitchen. We've also decided that we want to see if we can get a new chair for the living room because one of the little leather chairs that we've got, Paisley's chewed on the front years ago um, and it looks a bit yeah. While the kitchen's at the point it's at, we thought maybe it might be a good time to maybe try and order a new chair in case it takes a while to come and all that sort of stuff. 
lead times, lead times. That's all I hear. Lead times, yeah. Get some inspo. That's what they say, don't they? Is that who? Who says that? The people. What people? The, the, the internet people. Do they? Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go and get some inspo. That's that's a question I'm gonna ask actually, because you are quite good in these comments. Any decent sort of like home furnishing shops, kitcheny shops, all that sort of stuff that's a little bit unusual. Any any that you've used that not a lot of people know about, it's maybe a little hidden gem where you get a really cool little thing, something like that. Let me know if you've got any of them. Just testing it out. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I just like big versions of stuff. Yeah, I know you do. do you remember that massive candle that we used to have? Yeah, yeah, and the big chess piece. And the massive chess pieces, <laughs> yeah, we had two of them. What happened to those? What bend you me. Put, you, put, you chucked my big chess pieces. Yeah, I did. <laughs> there wasn't a lot. Heading back home now. James needs to set up for his Twitch. Yeah, I need to make sure that all your stuff, stuff works. works and then it'll be time to pick the kids up. Get the boys. Are we having a curry tonight? I was telling them that earlier. Um, we didn't manage to get one over the weekend. So we're going to do a little Monday night curry. Oh, yes, please. Maybe the next time you see us will be. Here's what I'm hoping, right? I'm hoping the next time you see us, the kids will have been picked up, the housework, I say housework, a quick tidy up, because there's no point in cleaning anything right now. I'm in my comfies, I'm on the couch, possibly a beer in hand, waiting to order a curry. What do you think? I reckon I could make that dream come true for you. Yeah? If I snap my fingers, is that where I'll be? I think so, give it a go. <laughs> classic YouTube for you there. Hey, um, end of the day, six o'clock. My dream came true. Oh. oh, your dream did come true, baby. Kids are home. Oh, the kids are home. Homework's done. You know what it's like, you know what, you, you know what, you know what we're talking about. <laughs> um, the oldest one's been testing the old <laughs> patience. Honestly, 90 Ninety percent of the time. <laughs> oh, it's gonna go high. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go ninety-nine percent. Yeah, well, I was gonna. Let's say ninety. Seventy-five percent. No, of the time. no, they're usually really good. I'll go and see what that was. I bet that noise was the stool in the bathroom. Right, everything's all right. What was that? It was the little stool in the bathroom. <laughs> Well, none of this can go in. None of this can go in. Cut that, cut that, cut that. Um, <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> cut that, cut that, cut that. Cut. No, no TV. Toys. You can play with the toys. Okay. Okay? okay. Mm. Or read a book. We know how the internet works. We know how Instagram and YouTube and stuff works. Barely. It's supposed to be. Look how great our lives are because and, and to be fair and I know that people get a bit of stick for that but if you look through a photo album an old photo album or something everything like that everything looks great it's not going to be like oh and here's where you, me, and, me and your mum got divorced <laughs> and stuff yeah. like that so it's just a, it's just a carry on from that sort of thing yeah um, yeah that's true but I like to think that we that our photo album would have that well if this is our photo album we like to include you know all the crap stuff as well, just because I think it's funny. <laughs> right, you got some boiled rice. Boiled rice? Yeah, just burnt my hand. Chicken tikka madras. Uh, madras sauce for you. Ow! Uh, vindaloo sauce for my poppadoms, garlic naan, and onion barges. What's that? As always, 
I forgot to bring the camera straight back up. I literally said to you, put it on your plate and then I'll vlog. <laughs> it's not on my plate for long. I forgot. Chips, chicken on the top, sauce over the top. I have some chips. Harrison's got some chips. I just have <coughs> chips and rice with sauce. And that's my thing. I'm pretty happy right now. And some poppy doms. Lovely. <coughs> James, I'm trying to eat. Stop, for God's sake. Okay, see you next week, guys.